Hello SPSO members. This is a tutorial on how to place an order with Optimus. Um, here, is, here again is my test site and I noticed this part is in Optimus's system. So what we need to do is we need to actually open up a window and we need to type in OptimusParts.com. This is what you'll come to once you type that in. You're going to go to the InTouch login. So you're going to go to the InTouch login and you're going to put in the user ID and password that Optimus gave you. So I'm going to put in mine. That will get you directly into their system to be able to check availability, check pricing and uh, all of the other shipping options. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to inquiries here and you're going to go go to the drop down and go under items. So from here you've got a lot of different options. You can search by item number, manufacturer number, all these different ways to search for items. Generally speaking you're going to search by manufacturer number. If, if for some reason the item doesn't come up or, or it doesn't show up at all then don't be afraid to ship it to item number but 99% of the time manufacturer will be the way that you actually want to ship the items. So going on the back end and find, finding, finding an item, what you're going to do is you're going to copy, right click, copy. This is the, act, this is the actual part number. We're going to go in and we're going to paste it and we're going to click search. And it looks like two things came up, but it looks like it's the same thing because all of the, all of the uh, numbers are, are, are the same. So if you click on check availability on this part, it looks like Optimus has 31 in stock. Always a good idea to make sure that your description matches the description of what was sold so that there's not, there's not any confusion on you sending the wrong part in case there was a, a mess up on a part number or on the even on the drop shippers side. And it looks like it is the plastic flange with the bolt and nut, so it looks like we are good. Your, our, this will actually, we can expand this window. This will actually show you what your cost is on the item. So your price will be around 1821, not around, that's what it would be. And then from here, obviously this, this customer ended up buying four of those. So what we're going to do now is we're going to want, we're going to want to add these to a cart. Same way the customer actually ordered it from you, you're going to order it the same way from the drop shipper. And so you're just going to add those to the cart. And if that's all the customer ordered, you're going to go ahead and go to checkout. And I do have eight in here. I only need four because I've already done a test, a test order. So from here, let's actually, I'm going to actually take, there we go. So now, now, now we've got the four. We're going to pay a total of $72.84 without shipping from Optimus. And looks like the customer paid $108.12 before it got shipped. So that there's 30, 35% markup in this specific order. So from here, we've got the description, we've got the item number, everything is jiving. We put the quantity uh, amount of four. So always double check that you have the right quantity amount in. So always check check your website to see that this person actually ordered four. Make sure you have that correctly in the actual quantity field. And then from there, we're gonna click on checkout. And we're gonna check out as a new order. From here, you're gonna put in your purchase order number. The purchase order number should always be the number of the actual order itself. So this Jenny Amber Crombie is order number 20084. So if you ever have to research back or cross-reference that order number from Optimus, you'll be able to do that from, from, from the back end of your website. So from here we're going to click Next. We're going to definitely, it's going to be a one-time location because it's because this is going to a residential address the ship to name this is where we do a lot of copy and pasting and you want to make sure you get the full name we're going to paste that there we're going to get the address in there
In this case, they actually have, this is actually going to a business. So it may not be a bad idea under the attention field to actually put the um, actual the actual um, management company's name in here. In this case, normally you'd leave it blank, but since we're going we're going to a business, uh, we might as well do that. Is this a residence? We'll we'll check that because it's not a PO box. So we'll go uh, zip code. I'm going to copy the zip code. And we are going to put the city in, which is Davenport. It actually, because the zip code we put in first, it actually knew exactly where it was going. So I didn't even have to fill out that field. Um, Let's get the phone number in there, just in case there's any issues with the order. That will actually fix itself when we click next. The best way so far to ship that we've noticed with Optimus is their FedEx ground. So if it's not defaulted to FedEx ground, then you may need to call Optimus to have it defaulted in case you have somebody else doing your, your, your ordering. Um, it's generally a small flat rate and where Optimus is located is, is in Memphis and they're actually right next to the airport where the FedEx hub is. So they actually are able to get stuff out faster than a lot of other drop shippers and get it across the country generally within two or three days using the FedEx ground shipping method and it tends to be a, a, a little cheaper option. So from there we're going to click next. Oh, it says phone required. So hang on one second. There must be something wrong with the phone number here, which there is. 2196. 219. The 6 got dropped off. Hang on one second. And I don't know why it's doing that. Let's see here. Not sure why it's doing that, but this is pretty much the end of the order process. From there, you're going to confirm the order process, and then, and then that's basically the steps to order from Optimus. And I'll figure out this phone issue, phone number issue, but it's not allowing me to backspace it out. But uh, from here, that's how you order from Optimus. Really, really easy.